Salvage expeditions have officially started rolling out into the maps of the game. There's a few test maps or stations that had the expedition console, but that was it. Now, along with the expedition console, there's also the salvage shuttle console, meaning that salvage no longer has to either hijack the cargo shuttle or borrow it in order to get to their missions. It means cargo isn't crippled while salvage does their job. So, like before, nothing's changed with the salvage expedition UI, except there has been an addition where now you can have carps instead of xenos, and you have to destroy carp statues instead of warding towers. Functionally, they're the same, just different mobs. However, there's also the addition of kill a large and dangerous creature inside the area, it means you either have to kill a xeno queen or kill the space dragon. Also, they still have the rush modifiers, which means you have less time, and the modifiers of day and night and the biomes have still remained. In this case, this is all kills and kill bosses, but there are still mining missions. I'm not going to cover every single little thing about expeditions because that's just not easy to do. For example, uh, I'll just take this minor destruction one to destroy three carp statues. Um, I would absolutely not take the extreme one unless you want to guarantee kill yourself if you don't have guns and or a good bit of people with you. Uh, soloing these is going to be very, very difficult, if not impossible, unless you're armed to the teeth. And you probably want your entire salvage team with you to take an extreme mission. But I'll just take the minor one, which has two high-value commodities in the loot pool. And the system as a whole is still constantly changing. Uh, the number one thing that's changing with it right now, as far as I'm aware, is uh, loot distribution and the still loot pool in general is getting uh, overhauled. And the salvage magnet isn't going away. I've also seen uh, discussions regarding that, but I can't give you much more info. So now, the salvage has their own shuttle. And you, just like the cargo shuttle, can fly it over to the station. It is noticeably slower and a little bit more sluggish to control than the cargo shuttle. You have to share the cargo port, but you shouldn't be hogging it up for too long. You can just coordinate with your quartermaster. And I will get onto the shuttle and show you what it looks like. So on the shuttle, there is a Ripley chassis, which something you could also do is that all the Ripley parts actually are stored here by default. Uh, the only thing that you need is uh, low voltage cables. So if I just insert the control module, which does spawn here, you just keep following the directions. There actually is everything required to build a Ripley on the shuttle except the one low voltage wire which you could find pretty easily yeah it doesn't come with the clamp in the back there is the generation and gravity units in the front there is the shuttle console and even a cargo request computer so salvage can request medical supplies and other things like that and there's also these buttons which open up tiny fans into like a cargo loading bay and i will just undock it and proceed the mission so you have to do is fly away and FTL I have arrived to the planet 15 minutes remaining to complete the expedition the dungeon is located to the south so I'm just gonna do exactly what it says and go to the dungeon Eh, might as well break my way in and I have broken my way in and I am in some sort of science room no crazy loot in here uh, the multi-tool is kind of cool. The artifact would obviously be a big appreciation for science. Even an analysis. Can you... No. <laughs> Let's just say, I thought if there was a pad underneath that, you could literally just research it here. But I'm sure that was unpurposely not placed there. Just so you don't try to become a scientist on the fly. Oh, well, here's what the carp statue looks like. All you have to do is hit it a few times. You destroy one, it'll tell you how many are remaining. I haven't run into an enemy yet. A blue space matter bin is a big find. Salvage will, or science will absolutely love that. That's one of the rare commodities. Two sheets of steel, 180 steel. And yeah, yeah, you definitely want to bring meds for this. Either hit up. Either hit up uh, cargo itself to request uh, meds early. Even more steel, god dang. Or just, um, go to med and take a few pills, but either way, if you're just careful, you won't take damage like I did. 600 space bucks. And, like, what's the toolbox itself worth? 600. What's a diamond worth? Huh? Okay. Diamonds probably shouldn't be worth nothing. 
And steel's worth almost as much as gold? Okay, well, either way, uh, this isn't about cargo prices. Oh, also, you don't need to wear EVA on uh, the planets. It might actually be worth it, even, to on purposely go out of your way to get, like, bomb suits and such. I mean, bomb suits don't help that much. Well, the bomb suit helmet certainly does. So, like, I could just mix match, like, this, and still have my EVA capability just a click away. Even more steel. Some cannabis. Either way, once the mission's complete, the only thing left to do at that point is loot around, look for things you might have missed, and uh, make sure you're back on the shuttle in time. Plastic. There's an actual chem master in here. That's a pretty big find. Glass, plasma glass. I mean, the amount of money you can make even on an easy mission is just disgusting. That is too grand. And once you're done, you just drag all your loot back to the shuttle. And once everyone's back on board, you can just FPL away. As far as I'm aware, it won't let you leave anyone behind, so you can leave early if everyone agrees. Uh, either way, that's basically the gist of the new Salvage Expeditions. It is just a cool, randomly generated either dungeon or mining mission to get rare stuff and valuable stuff for cargo, so cargo can do their job. Uh, it is definitely more dangerous than Salvage Magnet ever was, but that's probably a good thing because it seems like the rewards are much higher, and that's all I got for now.